So, we're working on my ceiling today. More of the beadboard. Um, like I told you guys before I was gonna do for the ceiling, my buddy is uh, right, out, right outside right now cutting up um, pieces to my measurements. And we're gonna build a nice ceiling balance here. Get rid of these ugly RV lights. Um, I'm getting a fantastic fan. It's actually on its way right now to replace this. And I'm putting in some new lights. Now, I went the more expensive route by just going to Home Depot and buying them this time, but this is what I bought. Um, the three RGB LED puck light. All these are is regular, just like your regular Amazon, eBay, $20, um, red, green, blue, multicolor changing LEDs. Instead of being in a strip though, they're just in the pucks, right? But the, you can actually hook these up to the string lights if you want, to the strip lights. They come with the same standard plugs on them. Now, of course, being Home Depot, they don't sell 12 volt stuff. It's all 110, but they're still 12 volt. All you have to do is cut the wire, cut it off. You don't need the house plug and just wire it to any connection in your motorhome because they're 12 volt. LEDs are 12 volt inherently. So all I'm going to do is cut that and then connect it to the power source from one of the lights that are already up here and put and uh, we're going to drill holes in my ceiling valance for the new puck lights. We were going to do the valance all the way to the back, but I think I'll leave the back as it is and just have it like a living room centerpiece. So I'll give you an idea of how these puck lights look. Okay, so here they are and you see they have the standard RGB plugs that all LED strip lights have for the, for, uh, for the uh, red, green, blue. Um, they all have the four pins, the four wires, and they just plug in together so you can extend the set to as many of these pucks as you really want to. Okay, I plugged them all in and it's just a standard remote which comes with pretty much all these LED lights. Just There we go. Red. This is on red. Now I can switch it to green. Green. Or blue. Purple, pink, whatever you want really. Or just white, if you want just white lights. So they're gonna look really good up there on the ceiling. Especially at nighttime. Okay, looking good. And I also bought a Max Air fan vent cover roof vent, so when my uh, new Fantastic fan shows up, I've got a proper cover for it. All right, so the baseboard will be put up first. And then the paneling I will nail gun on top of the base. So I have to remove the lights first. All right, I just cut the wire right off the 110 adapter because we don't need it. Ah, my food is here. All right, I just uh, temporarily connected the wires from the controller. And now let's see what happens. There we go. And look, there's just enough room up in that hole to shove everything in there, basically. The only thing I have to make sure is the little sensor for the remote uh, is sticking out somewhere. That's it. Depot and get, I would have been done already but I had to go get a little bit of a little bit more of the trim uh, the wood trim to go around the edge of the, the ceiling piece um it's the same trim I have around my valances and other things in here but uh, thanks to a mismeasurement and a wrong cut I uh, I am short by two centimeters on the trim like I could just fill it in with a piece hey little brat <laughs> my camera down. <laughs> I could just fill it in with a little piece because uh, I have some scrap pieces of it around but I don't want to have unnecessary seams in the trim going around that. I'd rather just be one solid piece cut properly so I'm gonna go buy a new piece 
and the cat. I was keeping the camera up on an angle with the bottle cap, and look what she goes and does. It's like, nope. Sorry, Daddy, but I have to play with this instead. <laughs> you get it. You get it. <laughs> you nut. Oh, there you go. Is that good? Is that tasty? Oh, nom, 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 nom. All right, so there will be the two lights there, the one at the front. So for now, I'm just going to screw in the original vent cover. Da da da! And it is all done, ladies and gentlemen. Check it out. So I have the um, LEDs um, on the full brightness setting. They're actually brighter than the original bulbs. Now there used to be two there and two there of the original camper lights with like seven or ten watt bulbs on each side so each one was 14 or 20 watts I forget but times two that was up to 40 watts of electricity um, with these I just tapped into one of them to run all three tapped into the wiring and these lights are one watt a piece so they use almost no power, they're actually brighter, and they look way cooler. Check it out. Red, green, blue, purple, whatever you want. And of course if you want to have, you know, disco night, you've got all those settings too. You can have the strobes going, you can have the changing colors going. It's uh, difficult to tell with the other light on, but there you go. Flash. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Very, very cool. So, pretty good, eh? Now, I got all that done, and then sure enough, my new fantastic fan, oops, it's upside down, <laughs> has arrived. Uh, so I'll be installing that soon, so stay tuned, everyone. Now, oh, one weird thing about it, of course, you know, more tech, more problems. The remote works great and all, um, but I will have a secondary uh, on-off mechanical switch just in case. It's good to have. But check this out, guys. My Samsung Smart TV remote, when I hit the mute button, look what happens. Was asking us if it changes the lights to the pink color, pink or almost purple. It's hard to tell with the camera, but it's actually kind of a pinkish purple. And it flashes them too when I use the mute on my remote. <laughs> Let's see if anything else does it. Channel. Yeah, oh, look, channel makes them turn green. Let's see what volume does. Oh, volume doesn't do anything. But channel up. Oh, only channel up, not channel down. You see? Isn't that weird? Same frequencies. Anyways, no big deal. I'll just have to keep that in mind. Back to white. Keep on rocking in the free world.